hurt on him over mid. Brial might pick up both water runes. He's putting in some pressure. Doesn't have much mana to work with, only Heavenly Jump. Thompson's bottle is on the way, but Brial, he wants to maybe put in slightly more pressure. Top There's way. the Inkswell top. Yeah, they're gonna get this first blood. 33 is gonna get credit for it. Kasani is gonna fall. They look over at Ari. He's able to sit under the tier one tower alive for a moment, but getting that first blood for Tundra. And you were talking about the upgrades to this ink soil, being able to pop it off yourself. It just makes it so much easier to line things up. And it will be plus 300, 300 gold that. for top. That's a, that's a hero kill in itself. Like 300 gold is no joke, especially when you're giving it over to the mid. He's still going to stick around, it seems. He's one of the heroes they, that they can... still see him, though. Yeah, he can still rotate. Like, there's two heroes in the game. I'm lane again. Constant action. Can't even finish my thought. Yeah, they go for Skitter. They get the kill. They land the hook. That upheaval is not doing enough to save this Naga. Get some damage on it. A Tomato as he's trying to run away. Uh. Kicking down 50 health. Pops that stick. He has a shared tango. There's not much the Warlock can do once he's able to walk away. But top lane, they're going after Ari. They've got the Ink Soul. They have the pressure on. They're looking for the Tusk. But here comes the Zeus. Files in. Thompson with the roll, trying to get away. They get the kill on Ari. They'll finally take up the Tusk, but Thompson in trouble. Going to try and run away, but the Thunder God's Wrath is there, and Bryle will get the kill on the Earth Spirit trying to retreat. This is something that we mentioned during the draft as well. TSM heroes are really difficult to kill, especially early on. They're super tanky. This is Trans Protector level 4 with 1,000 HP. Nine. Nine. Over mid, and I mean, Ari's in the mix as well. That Ink Soul is never going to pop. Bryle's got another kill. So Bryle makes a move. He's the one who TP's top, gets two kills for his trouble. Now bottom lane again, a lot of action. Thompson's made his way over bottom, and they're going to get this punch. Uh, Thompson, one of those players that doesn't care about his own levels or anything. Like, he wants to make a move, and now he might be able to... So, potential for double XP rune here for the side of Tundra after getting a couple kills, but also dying over top. They're bringing a lot of heroes here for TSM. Thompson's here with Snake King, and he drops down the Magnetize. The upheaval will slow down White Mom, but they've got the Snowball to stop that. So Snake King in a very vulnerable position with Pudge right behind. Oh, these punches Thompson's hurt. getting low, and can he, he at least it up. get one kill? They'll get White Mom. Thompson gets the Wisdom Rune. Now he's got the Boulder Smash, but here comes Bryle. Mono gets Thompson, Bryle gets Snake King. And it's a two for one, but they do end up getting the Wisdom Rune and a kill. Ooh, not, not sure if that's... Like, you really want to keep their pedal on the gas. He said TSM, they have a really good early game, and I think they're trying to counter right now from Tundra with pressure of their own, right? 33 is level 6, so that the Solar Guardian is available. Inkswell is going to be avoided with the Snowball save from Ari, but they've got the Magnetize to try and turn this. Damage coming in. Thunder God's Wrath. Thompson's dead. Ari traded. Down goes Tomato. So, two kills there for Tundra for the one of that Earth Spirit from the mid. And overall, it's okay for Tundra. But again, losing this awesome. Earth and join, they were the team that could play extremely fast Dota when necessary. Now, with the addition of Thompson, look again. at them go. <laughs> yeah, they want to go for more, but they've got the Snowball back over on a Thompson. Ink Swell. It's gonna pop. That stuns up Ari. They use the chaotic offering. They've got themselves the hook as well as the dismember on a tops in overgrowth used by White Mom. That's gonna control the Warlock and the Grimstroke. Solar Guardian used by 33 to try and save the Earth Spirit. They get the trade on to Ari. They look over at Tomato, the Golem trying to hit him down with the help of the Dawnbreaker. They kill off Tomato. Stroke of Fate's not gonna be able to save 33. They lose Brian. White Mon's low. He'll fall to nine. And four heroes are dead on the side of TSM. Yeah, this is the power of picking up two bounty runes. Both supports level six on side of Thunder pre ten minutes coming into the fight. I don't think they executed the soul. Not, not the constant fighting we've been used to the last five minutes of, of the game. Twenty one kills, eleven minutes. I don't think you can ask for anything better. And I say that, but they he made a move. Druid, true form. They're gonna go. They've got the roll. Sane's bear getting a little bit low. They've got the spirit vessel on Sane. White Mon coming over the nature's grass. The boulder smash hits on Sane. Trying to hide into these trees and will eventually drop to Thompson. But here coming around the bend, Solar Guardian up in the air. Now they look over. That's going to drop down. Hits on a White Mon. They've got the Magnetize and they will smash down both Ari and White Mon. Even the though the stun. 33. Yeah. Even though Solar Guardian stun didn't connect, uh, he still managed to like 
keep them inside and also just like with the, the phantoms embrace they have the geomagnetic grip for the other silence and they're moving right towards me they have just made they're so quick a, B, yeah. C. like they are just <laughs> going from point to point with no break in between it was pretty much bottom, top, mid, and they might even they find move to the bottom. They found Brile. That's yeah, big. That's Baral. massive. Soulbind, and there's the Fatal Bonds. They go to the Solar Guardian that will drop down. Overgrowth's not going to do anything. Brile's already dead. Ari's going to extend his life with a Snowball, but the roll lands on a White Mon. They're still going to find this extra kill as White Mon's in trouble. He's in miss thanks to the Shard, but they've got two. And, I mean, it's everything going their way. They just didn't have the detection ready to get this kill onto the tree, and he's a little bit lucky on that. Fortunate to be alive. They got the two big kills. I don't think wanting this Ags on Tomato. The, the bear for Kasane has the Radiance, and he's going into the Mjolnir next. But there's so much time needed for this, and Skidder's just going to walk up out of the high ground and find Kasane. Got Waymon nearby. And 33 is going to try and help with that Celestial Hammer. Overgrowth is used. Silence on a Kasane. They're not and taking damage. Ooh. Now they're going to find the roll. Tops and Chaotic Offering drop down onto both Ari as well as Whitemon. They've got the supports in some trouble. Roll's going to miss Kasane, but they've got themselves the ensnare coming out from Skidder. The Snowball to extend the life. Brown on the back lines with a Heavenly Jump to try and get away from Topson, but Topson's going to roll up into the high He's ground, in. And he wins. He's <laughs> on a Brile. What a mad He's behind man. the Tier 3 while they go for Kasane over where the Tormentor would be if it was 20 minutes. They're going to chase got him, him all the way to the gate. They get the kill on a Brile. They'll take out Ari. Kasane is looking next on the list with Thompson he nearby. the big one. Spirit Vessel on him, chasing him down. Boulder Smash on a Tomato to get the kill. Onto what Kasane. a player. <laughs> he goes in pretty much on his own. Rest of the team, some of them were still near the Tier 2 tower. And uh, that's just Thompson things. <laughs> what can he do? <laughs> changed the tempo of this game was this game from Skeeter and the rest of the team on Lone Druid before he could right. get his Radiance off. Delaying the timing. Stop, right? They're going in. Soulbind. Awesome. They are connected to his master and now they're going to go in. They've got the roll onto the back lines again. He's always looking for Brile. These heroes are alive but with a sliver of health they get the kill to Brile. They've got the Solar Guardian that's going to drop down to the back lines. Kasane with a life being taken from his hands already. He dropped down as they get this white bond tree protector into some trouble. No one's dying it's on their the side. Overgrowth. They might but be able to get one damage. kill snaking. Tamano gone. White bond looking next. Geomagnetic grip hits on both of them. They'll even throw a blood grenade. They get the kill on Ari. Starbreaker was landing there and taking out this tusk. And it's a full team wipe as Tundra lose nothing. They just have way too much to stay now on their side. Shadow Word, uh, despite its insane pickup. Like, uh, I, I think out. most... And then just the silences, he even keeps snaking alive. And not losing a single hero. Roshan's available if they want to go for it and try to close the game. But considering how Tundra's playing right now, I'm not sure they even need Roche. I think they can keep this pressure going. It doesn't seem like they have to slow down at all. As Skitter's going to find Ari. Has that net snowball buying some time shards to try and block him out mid lane meanwhile they're going after this pudge so Thompson's going to be on a monster kill streak on a tomato and Skitter takes out Ari solo over in the top part of the jungle and they call GG that is it Tundra will take game one over TSM and I mean they found a breaking point the, the water started to flow through the dam and that was all Tundra afterwards pretty much wow. they understood like what the assignment was